Everybody, it's your online singing coach back again today with a new Lucy reaction. Thank you to those of you who've reached out and let me know whether it was in the comments or private messages about Lucy and Martha's new video. I really appreciate you all keeping me in the loop. So let's go ahead and dive in right now. I see trees of green name Lucy looks like some kind of doodle and some of you may have already seen my little guy who's part poodle he's a multi poo yes it's my chuckles oh chuckles okay chuckles can you please say hi to everybody yeah who's over there anyway vocals very first phrase I see as I have mentioned before, Lucy's low range has really developed, seems to continue to develop. It's so warm, it's so rich, it just feels enveloping. This is such a classic song, we all know it. So far, she's pretty much sticking with the original, just a couple little notes here and there. I just think, again, it's so sweet and heartwarming that this particular song what a wonderful world that she's having family in this one. I think that just speaks to the relationship she has with Martha. Remind me, what's the age difference between the two of them again? My sister and I are three and a half years apart and we are BFFs. But she certainly did torture me as, as kids too. I'm okay with that. It helped me develop some grit. <laughs> anyway, cute dog. Let's see if Martha Solo is next. I see skies of blue and clouds of white. Pretty. The bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, love that smile between them. What a wonderful world. Is that Martha's pet? Looks like it must be. <laughs> the little he head shake of the horse, so cute. <laughs> her face shows some new maturity since the last time I saw her. But mainly, I see a lot more, uh, she seems just a lot more confident, a lot more secure in who she is. Uh, not just Lucy's little sister, but hey, I'm Martha and I'm a singer too. I definitely feel that here. Um, if I was being super picky, <laughs> I might ask her just to sit up a little bit straighter there, just for singing posture. And this is so common with this age group. And it's very, very easy to want to just tuck yourself in a bit. But for singing, it's always good to have this nice upright posture. Okay, so Martha must be a horse person. This scene is just very serene and peaceful and it's all about what the song is about. What makes this world a wonderful world? There are plenty of things that make it a little rough around the edges too in the journey of life, but this song is about the good things and I'm just feeling good things as I hear them sing. The colors of the rainbow so pretty Sky are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, How do you do? Verily saying, I love you. I hear 
in all the Lucy videos. She, you, she almost, I think in every Lucy video I've seen, she will end the song with that beautiful smile that just brings you in, in a different, rather than an appreciation of her vocal abilities, of her beauty, it's just, it's a, it's a light, it's just good energy. And this hug here between the two of them, aha, uh -huh, so sweet. I was observing that Martha's tone, she has a lighter tone than Lucy's. She just has a lighter timbre, a lighter resonance. Where we see activity on the EQQ spectrum, it's still, it's still early, but I could hear her go in a variety of ways. I could hear her just really singing so sweetly on some like singer-songwriter kind of songs. But while their tones aren't exactly the same, and they shouldn't be, we only need one Lucy and we only need one Martha. We want them to be two different singers. With that said, they have a beautiful blend. And, and I, I would like to hear the blend again. So let's go back to the duet section. Before we do, I just want to love a bit on the fact that they are clearly animal lovers. <laughs> and I'm an animal lover too. And that just makes me happy that they included their animals when they're talking about what a wonderful world this is. <laughs> I hear babies cry, I watch them grow, they'll learn much more <laughs> of the, the physical performance is Lucy's really toned it down in terms of the hand gestures. But again, I think this is so appropriate for this song. Also with this song, they both have kept this song very, very simple, pared down, stripped, sweet. Notice that the accompaniment is only piano. It's just these two voices and piano. In this setting, this beautiful, lush green background, like a park, just sitting on a bench together. You don't need anything extra. I think this performance is all about this tranquility, this sisterhood, this uh, loving space. You can just feel that when they were recording this video, it just had to feel good. They conveyed that so beautifully just by sitting there on the bench. This was enough. And if there was more, it might have not had the same impact. Too much might have taken away from the beautiful simplicity of this song and this performance. And we know from other performances of Lucy's just how much she can do. I love that she, that she chose to just boil it down to this essence of beautiful tone and a subdued serenity. As I mentioned, their tones here blend really well together. I'm listening to how well they are listening to each other. How well the matching of endings is, the matching of vibrato or not vibrato. They're very, very connected. Well, let's finish it up one more time. What a wonderful Blended with their strength. 
straight tone in the vibrato there. It was so good. <laughs> Just beautiful. Yeah, so to recap, this song was really about simplicity. And in contrast to some of the more challenging songs that Lucy has tackled, and knowing how much Lucy can do, when you are a singer who can do so many things with, with your voice, there's certainly a temptation to, to just do more. I really love that Lucy probably challenged herself to just keep it simple. And I just think it worked so well for this particular song. And she and Martha just had such a lovely moment that they let us in to share with them. I don't know, I'm thinking David Foster. What do you all think? I think she and David Foster need to connect, which is not to say that she shouldn't keep working with Chris. Big fan of Chris. Chris could be her David Foster. I, I say it, I think every time, but I always feel good listening to Lucy and Martha sing together. It just makes me have like a smile inside. And I know you all feel that too. It's a special artist who has those capabilities. I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. Thank you for the suggestions that have come in. I have tried to keep up with them. I, I can't remember the name, but there's an old one that you all have talked about that's like hard to find on YouTube, but you've sent me the link. I'm totally gonna check that one out. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, if you really loved watching this video, I'm always super thankful when I see the super thanks come in. Um, you can support me on Patreon. And thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>